What's up, people? Welcome to Leadership 11. This is our inaugural Bitter Painting Guide. If you want to know why it's called Bitter Painting Guide, just bear with me and we'll figure it out, right? Uh, so what we're doing here is the Imperial Guard. Uh, first thing I did is I went right over top of the green because I didn't like the initial green. It wasn't dark enough. It didn't match uh, some previous units I did. Went and jumped right into uh, the, dark, the dark flesh. I like to paint the flesh on the uh, IG real quick because it brings them to life a little bit, gives them some contrast to the model, and uh, you know, it makes you feel like you're making some progress in an otherwise daunting task to paint 50 of these Joes. A little bit about myself, I haven't painted in three years. This is the first time I've actually sat down to paint, so bear with me. Uh, we'll see what kind of results we get in the end like to carry this all the way through I don't know if I can do it we'll, we'll see what I can do now I'm just going back and I'm adding the chaos black to the belt the suspenders uh, bits and pieces of the uh, the, the last pistol the aqua aqualonia aqualonia I can't say the damn word you know what I mean the little birdie thing I, if you guys can say that good for you I, I can't say that aqualonia crap I don't know what it is it's a bird Apply the black to the boots. Gonna go uh, in a minute here. Probably gonna put it on the base as well. As you notice, these bottles are already base. I typically uh, base my models. I'll put the sand or texture on them uh, prior to priming them. Just find it's a little bit easy. Plus, you can go back through and work the base in as you uh, work the model. You got to figure out how to be efficient when you're uh, cranking out. 50 or 60 of these. Now, like I said, I haven't painted in a long time, so uh, I'm not cranking out 50 or 60. I'm just doing this one here. I recommend you throw in some uh, some music when you're painting. You know, I like a little Black Sabbath, a little Maiden, something like that. Some robots, uh, death, you know, that type of stuff to get you pumped up in the mood. I'm going to uh, shut up for a little bit and just pipe in when I add color and... Uh, I'm going to treat you to some nice MIDI music because uh, that seems to be in vogue with uh, painting tutorials and whatnot. Here you'll see I'm out of my first coats of brown. Uh, this brown here is uh, a little bit lighter and scorch brown. It's a uh, Vallejo model color brown. It's called flat brown. Uh, you could use scorch brown or you could use bee steel brown and just kind of work yourself up. You notice that uh, you can't really tell all the time, but you'll see that I, got, I do. I am typically bracing either on top of the desk there or against my other hand. Uh, if you've ever been to a GW and uh, taken pain lesson from one of the GW clowns, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll show you that technique, and it just keeps the model stable. Get the bags, get the shoulder, carapace armor. Shin guards. Coming along, starting to look like a model. I'm going to go ahead and apply the uh, brown uh, to the base, obviously. Nice camera shot, huh? Way off the screen. Yeah, that works real nice. Now I'm tying, applying the uh, dab on the, the uh, first brown layer into the camo. Uh, if you didn't pick up on the when I was painting the black, I uh, laid down some black patches here and there. And then uh, you bring the brown in and you leave the black as an outer ring. And then when I do the other brown highlight, you'll see. Uh, see it again. Just add some highlight to the flesh cones. Lighten them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
so uh anyways this is the our first tutorial in quite a while well in forever something i intended to do uh, back in the day when i had a shop uh, never got to it because things were too busy but uh you know if you find it valuable let me know if you don't you know let me know if you hate it, it sucks or you know you want to see something in particular a uh, particular paint scheme uh you know check out the leadership 11 site go through there's a lot of good painted stuff there um you know i'm sure we can help you out uh it really comes down to what you guys want to see uh you don't want me to talk uh you want some more midi music i don't know what you want uh, you want me to be more bitter because uh typically i really am so uh yeah tune in and uh just let us know what's going on right now i'm just applying a the uh a wash it's a Sophia uh gw wash it'll just give it a nice uh shade to the skin tones and darken it up a little bit and uh I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm showing off the model. There you go. Tabletop worthy. It's not done. It needs to be highlighted. The various needs to be touched up. But I don't have enough in me right now to finish it out. But uh, anyways, touch base.